Hello, welcome to another one of these videos. But first, last night, on the 29th of October, 2023, it was an incredible night. Oh, Tekra played live in Dublin. And, oh my God. That was just the most incredibly advanced music. Like, where to even begin with that? This is like, they're so way ahead of everyone else playing live electronic music. Beats are constantly changing, evolving, and the sounds are coming in, and the rhythms are, it was just like off the charts. It was like a dancey set, but incredibly experimental as well. <sighs> also, the support slot, Dunk, Minced Oath, also known as Sunken Bull, that was really great. Perfect warm up for Autiker, amazing. Then afterwards, Maricord and Circles. That was awesome. Amazing. Had a great dance. So, now onto the video Square Pusher, Beep Street. Okay, so, someone suggested this one. I'm really glad they did because I wanted to do a video of something that was an Apex. was done like a bunch of Apex ones in a row. And this is a perfect Square Pusher. It's like this soundtrack to my 1998, probably Hard Normal Daddy. This classic album, so classic. And this Beep Street is like a really kind of quintessential square pusher tune. And then when you break it down and you see what's happening in it, it's quite simple. But the thing about Apex and Square Pusher, both of them, they have their own sound when it comes to harmony. You know, their own melodic style as well, which is so hard to achieve that you know to come up with your own style of harmony just how do you do that well i think i heard i heard that square pusher would just spend so much time in the studio just you know 15 hour sessions and just being a hermit in the studio and just that's all that concentration and focus and the ideas are so pure so let's have a listen. It starts with this intro. <laughs> this. <laughs> Classic, amazing drum programming. It's really, uh, drums is his first instrument, so he's like, it sounds like a drummer, except it's electronic. <laughs> Anyway, so that goes on, and then the space line comes in. So, the bass line is F. kind of an F minor. So this is an interesting sequence of notes. F, B flat, A flat, B, e flat, back to B flat, and then D flat, and then ending with... There's something interesting going on there. I can't quite work it out. But at first it reminded me of like... Like the bass notes of of all the things you are, which goes So, it's like similar bass notes, F, B flat, but it's a more jazz way of doing it. And it doesn't have the, the key change there at the end, but it, but he's going F, B flat, and then A flat. E, it's kind of flipping it around. But the chords in the square pusher track, the chords don't really correspond to what you would expect with 
majors and minors really. So this bass line goes on on the second time these higher notes start coming into it. So those higher notes there you can hear more of the harmony. So the higher notes are A flat, F, G, E flat, F, G, C, C for the last two. So hearing it with the bass notes, clearly F minor, B flat five, not B flat five, B flat five, paraboard, and then a major seven, then just two E flats, and then back to B flat, and it goes another B flat five, and then and then a flat five, which is great there. It's a Lydian chord, major seven sharp five, or major seven sharp eleven, and then onto the major seven of that same chord. stays on that one. So that's an interesting bunch of, of intervals. So what I mean about the chords not corresponding is if that was just in the key of F, I could expect the chords to be F minor, B flat minor, A flat major, E flat major, B flat minor, D flat, D flat, E flat major, A flat, So if I play those chords along with these, so F minor 5, B flat minor, A flat, B e flat, B e flat minor. Definitely doesn't correspond to those chords, it doesn't sound right. So it's not those chords, but well, maybe it's some kind of inversions. They don't have major or minor thirds in there, so it's not like standard major or minor chords. So maybe suspended chords more. Or, yeah, I'm not sure, but uh, slowing down a bit, and then the simple melody comes in. Just repeating those four notes over each word. Same chords as before there, same bass line. And then the and the melody as well. So far, it's just kind of building up nicely. And of course, the drum programming just keeping it interesting all the time. So many changes in the drum programming. And then. <laughs> So 
So, so square pushery, but uh, it's quite jazzy as well. And the rhythm of it is kind of ambiguous. I'm not sure if it's like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, four, four all the way through, or it's hard to tell with the drums. It probably does sound like it's just four, four the whole time, but it keeps on coming in on the two for the second bar and fourth bar and sixth bar. It's coming in on a second beat string. So it's like, Count it different way. It's almost like maybe some kind of Indian music influence in there, which I never noticed before. But this like beat cycle. It's, it's interesting the phrase lengths that's going on here. It's kind of like you could call it dun dun, a five beat phrase. So let's say if there's so eight bars of four, it's 32. So it takes these 32 beats and then it gets a five beat phrase, eight beat phrase, eight beat phrase, and then that's 21. And then the last, 11 beats oh yeah so oh yeah the last beats two beats so the the remaining 11 beats you take two off the end you've got nine and those nine beats they're six dotted quarters you follow me with this so this phrase of this bass line is like five beats then eight beats eight beats and then at last 11 beats got six dotted quarters and a two beat phrase to finish it off I don't know if he, if he was thinking about any of that when he wrote this, or was it he just playing and came up with it? I don't know. But I used to play around with with phrase lengths and beat cycles and stuff like that, and haven't done it in ages, so that's making me want to give it a try. So that's all for the Beep Street video. The rest of the track kind of just plays with those elements going around, coming in and going out. So. Uh, I hope this gave a new insight into Beef Street. It's a very interesting track. See you next time. I don't know what track I'm going to do next week, so keep on sending in suggestions. Goodbye.